Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is March 5th, 2014. This is Texan TV News from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I'm Melissa Urbanik. In today's headlines, former Tarleton president dies, band formed at Tarleton plays final show in Stephenville, rare Chinese cat to be shown at Cleburne Cat Show, Fat Tuesday begins Mardi Gras festivities, Syria chemical weapons deadline achievable, and Ice Dancers and Drew Carey on ABC's Dancing with the Stars. Now for our top story. In campus news, the university will be holding a memorial for former Tarleton President Barry B. Thompson, who died Saturday at the age of 77. The university reported that the memorial will be held on Sunday, March 9th, in the Clyde H. Wells Fine Arts Center Auditorium at 2 p.m. A reception will be held in the Barry B. Thompson Student Center following the service. Along with being the president at Tarleton for nine years, he was also university president for Tex West Texas A&M University and chancellor of the Texas A&M University system. Tarleton had just over 4,000 students when Thompson became president. Thompson was dedicated to university growth and was known for his recruitment of minority students and faculty, the establishment of the presidential honors program, and a writing proficiency exam. Thompson graduated from Tarleton in 1956 with an associate's degree in biology. He went on to receive his bachelor's degree from Texas Tech and received his educational administration doctorate from Texas A&M. In local news, Six Market Boulevard played their final show with lead singer Clayton Landua this last weekend at City Limits in Stephenville. The band started at Tarleton in 2009 and has made an impact in Texas country music. In an interview with the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Landua stated that he simply wanted to go in a different direction and it's certain that God is playing a major role in his life. Although the band is losing its lead singer, the remaining members, Josh Sherrado, Red Shahan, and Ben Hussey will continue playing and working on new projects. The trio will take on a new name and a new sound. Along with performing, Shahan is opening a bar in Denton, and Sherrado and Hussey are starting their own recording studio in Stephenville named Foxy Creek Studios. In another interview with the Stephenville Empire Tribune, Hussey talked about the importance of the band finishing in Stephenville. Hussey said, We wanted to say thank you to all of the fans and bars in Stephenville who ever gave us a chance. We really appreciate all of the support the entire city has shown us. We're looking forward to our new project and we hope everyone else is as well. And now today's top state, national, and international in sport news from the Associated Press. Rare Chinese Liwa cats will be among the dozens of other felines on display in the March 15th Ozark Cat Fancier Show at the Cleburne Conference Center. Liwa cats are one of the earliest known breeds of domestic cat. This will be the first time Liwas are shown in Cleburne and only their second showing in Texas. Marsha Ammons, Ozark Cat Fancier Secretary and Treasurer said, The short-haired cats have lived throughout China for centuries and are mentioned in ancient books, according to a press release from Ozark Cat Fanciers. Ozark Cat Fanciers includes members from Johnson County and Texas, Ammon said, as well as Missouri, Oklahoma, and Finland. In addition to the Chinese Liwa, the upcoming show will bring an array of other breeds. The show runs from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Cleburne Conference Center. Admission is $5 for those 12 and older, $4 for seniors and children, and $12 for a family of four. Proceeds benefit Wynn Feline Foundation, which awards research grants and funds feline health and welfare programs. In national news, Mardi Gras started Tuesday and the Associated Press was there to cover the kickoff. It's indescribable. indescribable. It's, it's an energy that Good you have to be here everywhere. to experience it. It's amazing. It's just positive, fun energy. Happy Mardi Gras! Happy Mardi Gras! Um, I'm from Texas, and I come here every year just because everyone here is so nice. And on this day, it brings out the niceness even more in everyone. Happy <laughs> We don't drink. Yes. Drink, drink, hey, until it gets drier. <laughs> hey, Marty. Happy Marty Girl. Happy Girl, baby. There's so much to do. So much love in the city, it keeps you warm. So it doesn't matter how cold it is outside, right? <laughs> In international news, an international mission to dismantle Syria's chemical weapons program is picking up the pace to remove chemicals from the Civil War-torn country. On Tuesday, a Dutch diplomat leading the mission said that an end-of-June deadline for total destruction of the program is still achievable. A spokesman for the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons 
also said Damascus has said it can remove all chemicals from the country by the end of April. Truckloads of chemicals are being driven from Syrian storage depots to the port of Latakia and loaded onto Norwegian and Danish cargo ships protected by warships. The chemicals will eventually be transferred to a U.S. ship, the MV Cape Ray, which has been fitted with special equipment that will neutralize hundreds of tons of the most toxic chemicals under close supervision by OPCW experts. The international effort was sparked by an August 21st chemical weapons attack near Damascus that killed hundreds of people and was blamed on the government of Syrian President Bashar Assad, which denied involvement. Syrian ally Russia has seen has been seen as a playing an important role in pressing Syria to get rid of the chemicals it stockpiled to turn into poison gas and nerve agents. It remains to be seen if tensions between the West and Moscow cover over Ukraine will have any effect on the Syria mission. In sports news, Olympic ice dancing gold medalist Charlie White and Merle Davis will try out a different surface and, a new, and new partners as contestants in the next edition of ABC's Dancing with the Stars. ABC said Tuesday that game show host Drew Carey, actor Billy D. Williams, and long-distance swimmer Diana Nyad will also be on the show, which begins a new season on March 17th. Other celebrity contestants include former pro hockey player Sean Avery, Full House actress Candace Cameron Bure, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes, James Maslow of the TV show and music group Big Time Rush, actress Danica McKellar of the Wonder Years in the West Wing, Paralympic athlete Amy Purdy and pop star Cody Simpson. The weather is starting to warm up again. Today you can expect a high of 59 and a low of 35. Today's broadcast was produced by Cassidy Horn and Megan Bailey. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. I'm Melissa Urbanik. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.